So today we have the uh, Tithosh USA uh, PX9 Gen 3 duty size with the uh, thread up barrel. Let's take some shots with the teeth ash. Well, it seems like I'm accidentally riding the slight release. Because every time I make completely sure that I have my thumb away, it locks back. So, I guess it's my fault, not the gun. Oh, and uh, this is uh, second grade ammo, so. I wouldn't blame the gun for this.
500 rounds. It's pretty hot. Let's do a penetration test. We got a uh, bush latte on the right and a nasty coffee on the left. Let's see. Uh, not so invincible after all. <laughs> all right, so we have the Tithash USA here. Um, this is the 500 round review on it. Um, it comes in this uh, nice heart case or heart, yeah, heart plastic case. When you open it up, you're uh, greeted by the pistol itself. And uh, comes with a holster. It's not that great, but that'll do. Um, in a pen chain, at, le at least, until you get something new or something that you want or like. Um, comes with an 18 round magazine, 20 round magazine, uh, back straps, three different sizes small, medium, large, same side plates. Uh, it comes with a punch to uh, punch out the pin that holds the back strap in. Um, it comes with the uh, mag flare if you want to put a mag flare on it. Um, comes with a uh, extra green fiber optic. There's already one in there, um, and an orange fiber optic. And um, it, this thing is fiber. Uh, RMR cut as you can see it's RMR cut straight from the factory so you don't have to send it in to uh, get it cut you can uh, being so it is cut from the factory you can uh, put a red dot on it and it will the sights will co-witness with a red dot um, it also has a cleaning brush a cleaning rod um, if you take this off you have the user manual um, and it does look like it's uh, water like the case is waterproof it's got a rubber seal here in the thing so for four hundred dollars you get a lot with it um, like I said you can find them online for cheaper than that but uh, I have about $400 in it with uh, shipping, tax shipping and uh, transfer fee and everything. I have about $400 in it. So, yeah, you can, I don't know if you still can find them for uh, about three thirty, But I think that's what I paid for it. Plus tax shipping and transfer fee came out to about $400. Um, because they're hard to find in a local gun shop you pretty much I bought this on classic firearms so like yeah unless you live in North Carolina um, you're probably gonna have to find them online or unless you have a connection with a fire uh, gun dealership or something that they'll order one specifically for you but uh, most shops don't carry them, at least not as of yet. But um, I got 500 rounds through it. Uh, about 250 rounds of that was uh, 115 grain blazer uh, uh, brass blazer uh, Federal or Winchester, and the other 250 was uh, second grade ammo. It was sold as uh, for reload components only um, I probably shouldn't even been shooting it but uh, I don't I have a setup for reload yet so I decided I may as well shoot it because ammo gets expensive and uh, I don't get paid for this so <laughs> I do it because I left guns um, 
with that being said, if you uh, know somebody that uh, works at a gun shop or works at a ammo manufacturing place uh, that would like to uh, sponsor, uh, send ammo out as a sponsor, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and it would help me out a lot. But, uh, yeah, uh, well, I think I got pretty much everything covered um it's the gun has been very reliable no uh, no gun malfunctions uh, it's what i was shooting uh good ammo i didn't have any problems with it when i was shooting second grade ammo i had a couple uh light loads that i had to make sure i didn't have squits um i also had some uh, primers that didn't uh, go off so other than that, yeah, uh, that's all ammo related. Uh, no gun related malfunctions at 500 rounds. So, um, again, fi uh, $400, you can't really go wrong. It's been nothing but reliable for me, and it's a very easy shooting pistol. I would recommend it. I would probably give it a 7.5, 8 point, uh, 8 out of 10. And, uh, with that being said, uh, I think that covers everything. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.